Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So this is the third installment of my Nail Stamping 101 series and I'm talking about plates today. Now there, it, this is probably going to be the shortest video because there's not too terribly much to talk about nail stamping plates that I know of versus like the scrapers, the stampers, and the stamping polish that I've done previously before. So, and I wanted to say this, that any of the brands that I mentioned today, they are not sponsoring any part of this video. These are just the ones that are in my personal collection and I've used. And these are my honest opinions about them, as well as some of the, you know, information that I've learned about sampling plates in general. With that being said, let's get on into it to see how it's done. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about how they come when you order them. Sometimes it doesn't matter what company, sometimes they will come in like a sleeve like this or they'll just come in like bubble wrapped in a bubble mailer and then they're just like single plates and what I've learned is all plates have some sort of plastic um, film on them. So, my person, I personally leave them on, leave the, uh, plastic film on until I use them, just in case something happens and your plates get scratched. This clear, sometimes it's clear, sometimes it's blue. I've seen both, but... The majority of the time, I have seen blue uh, plastic film. Like I said, I leave them on in case something happens and they get scratched until I use them. And then you take them off before you use them for the first time. And once they're off, they're off, really. And you obviously want to take them off so you can get to the etchings of the plate. The majority, I think actually all of my collection of plates are metal. I have seen people talk about plastic ones or acrylic, like uh, acrylic, acrylic plastic ones. I've never used those, so I don't know how they hold up to daily use, but the metal ones hold up just fine. You just, once you're done stamping, you just clean them off with pure acetone. And occasionally, you want to go in with rubbing alcohol. To me, it doesn't matter, like, the percentage. I've used, like, 91%. 50 something percent I can't remember it doesn't really matter the percentage to me but I go in with a cotton a cotton ball and clean up and the rubbing alcohol will get the like residue you can't really see that's left over from like the stamping polishes and the acetone it's just a good way to clean them more doesn't hurt them. Not necessarily you have to, but that's what I do, just to get them cleaner. So that way there's no polish transfer when uh, you go in for a new color. Now let's talk about the shape and size of nail plates. Like I said, I only have metal plates, so I only know about the metal ones. So sometimes they can come round like this or square. This is actually a large square I have. They can come smaller square, like about the size of the circle, but square shaped. 
Then they'll come like this. This is what you would call an extra large plate. And then this is, I guess, I don't know exactly what you would call this. Maybe a jumbo? I don't know. But this is significantly bigger than a XL plate, as you can see. But they're all still good. All plates have some sort of backing on the back because these are metal. Sometimes even when the edges are rounded, they can still be a little sharp. So all plates have some sort of backing on them like this, like either a little sticker or this little plastic thing that the plate, the plastic edging that the metal plate is sitting on. Here's another sticker and sticker. That's the only real backing thing I've seen. If you get, like, say you get this kind of plate and it doesn't have a backing, I've seen where you can purchase these plastic backings and put them on there. I don't exactly remember where you can get them, but you can probably Google, like, plastic backing for metal nail stamping plate and you can probably find them easier there and sometimes like say this size plate will have another side so they wouldn't have this plastic bagging backing so it would just be like a double sided plate which is really cool as well so I'm going to go over some brands that I have used that I, you know, purchased with my own money that I've never had any problem with, like, stamping images or what have you, what have you, excuse me. This first brand I want to talk about is Hee Hee. And obviously I haven't used this one yet, but... I have used some from them and they are a good brand. You need to make sure that they have this backing them because some, pe some people have gotten forgeries of them and sometimes when they're like a copycat of a name brand Sometimes they're good in the etching wise and sometimes they're not. They're like the etchings are not deep enough so they don't pick up and transfer well. But I have Hee Hee. I have a Dixie. I've used the Dixie plates. These two are Dixie. Um. This is my one and only Westonia plate. I don't know. Sometimes it was very hard for me to find this company, so I don't know what the deal is. And then I've used Lena Nail Art Supplies. I've used Moyu London, Maniology, which they used to be called Bunda Monster. I've used Uber Chic Beauty. I think that's all the ones I have. But there's like many more companies out there. There's like Clear Jelly Stamper, Twinkle Tea has some. Um, <laughs> I can't think of any more brands, but I know there's more than that. But you can just like Google nail stamping plates and it will come up with a whole bunch of lists and you can just look to your heart's content and find something you like. And they're all different pricing depending on the sizing. So it's up to you how much you want to spend on them and how big you want them and stuff like that. So I know this video is probably shorter in this series, but that's all I know about nail stamping plates. So that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. It helps me know you like my videos as well as me. 
If you see a big red subscribe button down below, that means you're not subscribed to my channel, so be sure to hit that and subscribe to my channel. After you're done subscribing, turn on the post notification bells so you never miss when I upload. And leave a comment down below for what you would like to see next, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!